Hello everybody, this is Michelle Van Tackett. Hey, and this is Sean. Welcome to TNT Big Show. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, leave a comment, share, join our Patreon, where you get lots of cool stuff, exclusives like Jack's Joke of the Week and exclusive articles and stuff. If you just want to make a one-time payment, you can do that on PayPal, which would be nice. And you can join our social medias like Instagram for photos, TikTok for short videos, and our WordPress blog where we do blogs on our thoughts and stuff. Now let's get into the video and there is no game that has more hype and anticipation around it than The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Well, maybe Metroid Prime 4. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's it, though. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a theory. Hold on to your pants, folks. I think Link is going to be a villain in dun, Breath of dun, the Wild dun. 2. Yeah. What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? Why don't you get out of there? Give someone else a chance. Yeah, I know. Some of y'all may be thinking that, but hear me out. This is not a rumor. This is a theory. <laughs> so I don't want people typing in the comments that I'm trying to pass off something that may not happen. I'm talking about a theory. Now, a lot of people are talking about that we could play a Zelda in the game, which would just kick so much rear end. Well, okay, why? One reason is they get separated, and you have to play as Zelda to catch back up to Link. Possible. That's a good possible theory. Yeah. When you watch the trailer, Link's hand gets possessed by that green stuff, swirly stuff, whatever that is. Yeah. That was also in Age of Calamity. Yes. That when it got in touch with other enemies or even their people, they got possessed. Possessed, yeah. Now, some people think that because there was unused concept art that leaked out, something may happen to his hand, get it chopped off, and he could have a bow and arrow for a hand. Like Ash. Yeah, Leo which would be Dad. cool, but I think that Link is going to become a villain. Not the main villain, part of, but a part villain. of the game. Yeah. yeah. Ganon, or whoever, somebody's bringing Ganon back. Sean has a theory on who it is. I think that Link is going to get possessed, and you're going to have to play as Zelda for the next ten hours, ten hours until you find hour. him. You know, it's going to be like The Last of Us 2, only people like Zelda, they don't hate her like they did Abby, and it'll be done a lot better. Yes, a lot better. So imagine that. You have to play as Zelda, going through dungeons and stuff, trying to find Link, and then you meet up with him and have to fight him like in a boss battle. But you don't try to kill him, you try to get him out of Ganon's spell or whatever's going yeah. on. And don't say that it can't happen because a potential spoiler alert, potential, potential spoiler alert if you've never played Twilight Princess. Zelda was put under a spell and she would, Link had to fight her in order to break the spell. Yeah. This could be something similar to that. Right, exactly. Uh, I really do. When you watch the video, we're going to show some scenes, stills from the trailer, that you see the possessed hand grab Link's hand. Yeah. And you can tell that it's Link's hand because... His fingers are thicker than Zelda's, and the, the outfit he has on. And then you see the hand start to be ripped away, and that it looks like Ganon is starting to get up. Oh. That tells me that Link may have to go with Ganon. Oh. That's just how I feel. I think, yes, there is a chance that Link could be a villain in Breath of the Wild 2. And Sean has a theory on who he thinks is trying to bring Ganon back. It might be Zant. From Twilight Princess? From the Twilight Princess, yes. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, it would. You never know. That's true. It definitely Maybe would make sense. One, but I'm thinking it might be him. When you see Ganon's bones <laughs> in Breath of the Wild uh, 2, the trailer, he's dead. He's dead ski. Uh, uh, Something's trying to bring him back. Let's see how that plays out. Very interesting. I like doing some of these theories because I think it it's interesting that this might happen. When you're playing as Zelda, I have a theory that you're going to have to use magic more. And that, yes, uh, Zelda could have a sword and fight with that. But I'm thinking she's going to use the Sheikah Slate and magic more. Yeah, That would be so awesome to awesome. make her and Link different. Yeah. That's, what I, that's all I got. That's what I think. There are clues in the trailer. I'm going to put the still shots up. Where you can just see that maybe Link could be one of the villains you fight in Breath of the Wild 2 under no action of his own. Yeah. And if he's put under the spell, I know some people are worried that it'll break the mythology. Zelda was a force of wisdom, and yet yeah. she was possessed in Twilight Princess. Nothing wrong with expanding the universe. No. Broadening the story. Exactly. 
Well, uh, real quick, I would like to add as a reminder to everyone, all our patriots, everyone, our fans, subscribers, and everyone, Mr. Monkey and Mr. Hopper, Season 2, this Wednesday, 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock, brand new episode, tell your friends, tell everyone, Mr. Monkey, Mr. Hopper, Season 2. Yep, I'm going to start filming today, yep. so I hope you like it. New beginning, it's, it's going to be a new show. Good. I mean, with the same humor and stuff. But... <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to enjoy making it, and then yep. I'll enjoy putting it up and putting smiles on people's faces. Yep. So I'm Michelle Lentacket. This is Sean. This is TNT Big Show. Have a good day. Bye. And now we're going to do our sales pitch. This is me, Michelle Lentacket. This is Sean. And we would like for you to hit that subscribe button. I noticed that over 70% of the people who watch us aren't subscribed. Hey, what are you waiting for? It's free. Just hit that red uh, subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when we're going to post another video. Please thumbs it up and comment if you like. And please join our Patreon. Patreon helps us get more money so we can do better videos with better equipment. And that's always better, you know. So we have social media that you can join. The links are in the description below. So thank you, everyone. Keep supporting Attack and Attack and Entertainment. And really quick, just before, if you do join our Patreon, you'll get a uh, little extra bonuses, like you'll get early access to episodes of Mr. Monkey, Mr. Hopper. And who wouldn't want to miss that? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Bye, everybody.